Russians seem to be progressing with the development of remotely operated armored fighting vehicles. On Army 2022 military forum, Russian company Rostech published a video of a remotely controlled BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicle. The vehicle in question is equipped with the Sinitsa system, which allows for remote control of the vehicle, which includes driving and shooting the vehicle. They say the vehicle would be most useful in urban areas and as a lead vehicle in convoys. The vehicle can be controlled remotely using a portable remote control unit. On the first glance this might seem amazing and very useful, but there are definitely some problems here that need to be addressed. First of all, this is an infantry fighting vehicle that is made to transport infantry. It is basically throwing away half of the job it is intended to do, because if you want it to be a remotely controlled vehicle, then you should not have it transport any infantry. Another problem with choosing BMP-3 is that it is huge and badly armored, which makes it really easy target, and having no crew inside drastically limits the visibility, making it harder to spot enemies which even further decreases its survivability. That means that an expensive system such as this one can be easily destroyed, which is kind of a waste. We also have no details on the system, like for example what is the reach of the signal, that is how far can the vehicle go before it goes out of the signal's reach. Another problem is input lag. If we look at this clip from their video, we will see that it takes around a second for the system to react. The person moves the stick to the right and then after a second or so we see the movement on the screen. That doesn't appear to be that good. Now of course we don't know what the distance is between the controller and the vehicle and it would still be a useful thing to have even with such input lag, which is not really that terrible if I'm going to be honest. What about tanks though? Well, apparently a system for remote control of main battle tanks such as T-90, called Sturm, has been already in development and it should have gone into a testing phase back in April, but so far nothing has been disclosed about it. That would be much better because, even though Russian tanks are not the most renowned for their survivability, they would still be a much better pick for remote control than an infantry fighting vehicle that can barely stop 50 cal ammunition. That would be all. If you like my content, you can consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.